chosen largely because they can look after themselves. Uh, but also they were fierce, fiercely patriotic. It was expected that they would know the local area absolutely intimately so they could make uh, advantage of every little dip in the land. They were trained in demolition and sabotage, they were trained in assassination and living off the land behind enemy lines. Most auxiliary units were made up of countrymen. They were farmers, gamekeepers, poachers sometimes, who all worked together. And come the time of an invasion, they would disappear down to a specially dug bunker, a model of which you'd be able to see in the carts tent next to us. Um, they would stay, be expected to stay down there for up to a fortnight while the invasion passed over their heads and they remained, unde remained undetected. Once the invasion had passed, these brave men would have come out of their hidden underground bunkers and they would have spent their nights harrying the Germans behind the lines, blowing up fuel dumps, blowing up bridges, assassinating high-ranking German officers and doing whatever they could to create as much mayhem as possible. These guys were living down a hole and they had loads of stuff. Stuff that the British Army was having difficulty was getting. And the weapons, besides the Sykes Faber knives and garrots and the toggle rope and other things which they, which they had, um, were, were quite lavish. Finally, the main reason that the auxiliars existed was to blow things up, so I'm just going to give a very brief demonstration of how to set a charge and we're going to blow that strategic bridge up over there. The problem with time pencils is that although they were t said to be a specific delay, the uh, time delay was often altered by temperature. The warmer the weather, the faster the chemical reaction happened, and sometimes it was very difficult to exactly determine <laughs> the, the amount the amount of time that the time pencil would give you. So that's just a brief glimpse into some of the tricks that the auxiliars had in their toolbox. We hope that that's encouraged you to learn a little bit more about the auxiliary home guard. Thank you.